G'day, just going to do this talk on hearing from God. We need to hear from God for ourselves. We don't need to run to man. You know, the, the time's coming where we're desperately going to need to hear the voice of God. In John 10, 27, Jesus says, My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Jesus is talking to us. He can, he can speak and we should be able to hear him as born again believers. We should be able to hear his voice, whether it's audible or whether it's the still small voice of the Holy Ghost or there's many other ways that he speaks to us to get our attention. You know, when I, uh, before I was saved, I was into the, doing Rosicrucianism and they teach you to let spirits come into you. You, you invite spirits in and they train you to listen to those spirits, to hear them as a still small voice, as, as a, a, a voice to guide, to direct. But at the start, they don't tell you their, their voices or they don't tell you their separate identities. They just tell you it's your inner self, which is subconscious, you know, and they deceive you. But it, after a while, you learn that there are other voices and, and before... You know, just before I was saved, I heard a different voice. I heard a voice give me scripture references that that led me to to the the church where I got saved. And uh, I mean, this was what I was like before, and this was what I was like not long after when I got married. The differences between the voices: the devil's voice drives, the Holy Spirit's voice leads, and God leads gently. Sometimes He leads in ways that are a bit more, you know, obvious than gentle. But most of all, it's a still small voice. It's a gentle voice, and there's lots of ways that He does it. Like He He uses His Word, His Bible. You know, the, the Holy Bible, you get into that. And because it was his spirit that wrote the Bible, it connects with, with our spirit or the, the spirit, his spirit in us and directs us. He gives us counsel. He leads us. He shows us the truth. I'm going to, I'm going to split all these up and do a talk on every one of them. But right now I'll just cover, I'll just cover what we're going to be going through. So, yeah, so. The word, you know, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. And, uh, and then there's the Holy Ghost, the still small voice that speaks within. We, we gotta learn to listen to that. If you're in a church where they say the Holy Ghost is, um, just a force or the Holy Ghost, he doesn't talk anymore, ain't eh? talk back then to the disciples and apostles get get out of there run out of there quick because god's talking he's talking he wants to talk to you he wants to talk directly to you what's he saying to you you know there's blockages that can be in our life through sin through unbelief through um you know lust of the eyes lust of the flesh pride of life god resists the proud gives grace to the humble these blockages that block his voice too the the block is um uh direction and he's leading and you know the devil once he knows that you you starting to hear from god all hell's going to break loose he'll try to tell you it's not real it's only your own thoughts he'll try to and if that doesn't work he'll bring in his own uh, voice you know he'll start speaking and pretending he's god counterfeiting god all these things that, that we got to understand that that uh you know, when you come into the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force. We've got to be forceful. We can't be passive. We've got to look. We've got to seek. You know, God will talk to us through conviction of sin. Jesus came to convict the world of sin, of righteousness and of judgment. You know, that these things that are operating in us, sin or conviction of sin, righteousness and judgment, he uses them to keep us on the path that he wants us on. You know, he can speak with an audible voice. I've heard the audible voice many times. Well, not that many, you know, eight or ten, which compared to some others as many. But I've heard the devil's voice audibly too, you know. It, once, you know, like I said, once the, the devil knows God's speaking to you, then he's, that's his worst panic. He doesn't, he doesn't want anyone hearing from God. But uh, but we can, we do, and we should, you know. 
there's um, prophetic words. God will speak through prophets, through through others, through words of wisdom, words of knowledge. The trouble is there's a lot of frauds, a lot of pretenders. We've always got to seek, we've always got to test everything, you know, and, that, and that's why we go back to the word to see, you know, we've got to look for the light. We can't just accept and swallow everything that's dished up. We've got to find the truth. We've got to filter out the lies from the truth. We've got to have discernment, you know, because, like I said, once you listen to God, you know, there's there's the enemy, you know. We got to stay in the light to, to uh, keep filtering it out the darkness. And um, there's uh, God can speak any way He likes. He spoke through Balaam's donkey. He, he used the donkey to speak to a man. It doesn't matter, God. If we want to get the message through, we can get the message through. He speaks in visions, dreams, and pictures. He can give you an open vision and uh, and give you dreams and pictures when you're praying a picture speaks a thousand words you know he can get his message through but he speaks in parables too it says in proverbs 25 2 it is the glory of god to conceal a thing but the honor of kings is to search out a matter he hides things so we're not getting everything dished up on a silver platter but we got to seek it out we got to search it out you know we got to look we got to put in an effort we got to you know chase after the kingdom of god and and uh desire it more than uh the, the kingdom of darkness and you know it says in the word without faith it's impossible to please he knows you come to him must believe that he is and that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him we got to diligently seek him and also he also says if you seek me you'll find me when you search me with all your heart we've got to go after him with everything we got and he'll reward us and that reward is so far above what what it costs us to to go looking for him what it costs us to find him it's you know it says in the word he can give above and beyond what we ask or even think according to the power that works within us there's nothing that that we can do that's you know on our on our search for god that's going to be worth more than what god will give us you know it's so rewarding to know that you're in the will of god uh there's angelic visitation. I know people that are angels even come knocking on the door and uh, they're like seven, eight foot tall with messages. And uh, I've never, well, I've never seen an angel to the point where I knew it was an angel at that time, but in hindsight, maybe they were. But he, God can do it. If he wants to do it, he will. And, and, um, you know, so we got to be aware of the blockages, you know, pride, lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, pride of life. We've got to be aware, you know, that, that maybe if we're not hearing from God, it's not God's fault. It's it's our fault because we, you know, it says in the, in Second Corinthians 10 that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, the pulling down of strongholds casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. we got to cast down our imaginations, you know, the, the, the junk that's running around in our head, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, pride, self-righteousness, vain glory, you know, self-seeking, self-serving, everything that's... Uh, that, that's against the kingdom of God, against God being Lord, you know, and King, King of Kings, you know. So we gotta, we gotta watch our thoughts. The last bit of that scripture is and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. God might be talking, but when He's trying to talk, and we got so much junk going on in our head, whether it's idolatry, whether it's witchcrafts, whether it's, you know, lusts and, you know, greed and whatever, pride, whatever it is, we got to, we got to search because God, He speaks through the Spirit. He, he speaks and a lot of the time it sounds just like our own thoughts, but we've got to learn to watch every thought and figure out which is that voice because God speaks with that still small voice that sounds like your own thoughts, but 
when you start bringing every thought into captivity, you can d discern and, and see the difference. So we'll go through them one at a time and I'll, I'll pull them apart and we'll add lots of scripture and, you know, I want to help you to hear from God because I know that God speaks and I know he wants to speak to you. 